Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my home gardening channel. Uh, today I will talk about the trellising and the staking of the plants. So, um, we'll talk about cucumbers, beans and tomatoes in particular. And then you can choose whatever vine plants you are using in your garden. So, first is the tomatoes. Now, tomatoes, they don't, they don't they don't vine actually, so you have to train them. So you can see I have staked them up here at the bottom. So they're tied against this this rod and that takes the whole support of the plant. So the wind doesn't shake it up. And then from here, from this part, oh, there's a sucker. From this part, you could see it's, it's very tight against this one. It shouldn't be this tight, although I had it very loose uh, knot but still so anyhow I would remove it and have it to place because I don't want to suffocate the plant but now I'm trying to get it all the way till here it's gonna be a 45 degree angle not a good one should go straight up but above is the sky I have nothing there so I'm gonna take it there not recommended you should do it not because I see my garden every day so any any pro problems I will just take care of those ones but you see all all my other tomato plants are sticked up they're going up oh what was that what did drop just now oh okay here's a piece of wood I thought a mouse <laughs> so again sucker is removed so what I was saying that they're gonna stick up till here it's almost uh, five foot tall five foot tall that's almost four foot and then I will think of a way how to get them straight up I have pipes PVC pipes like these ones uh, they're in my stock right over there lying on the floor so I will use them to get higher but that's not what, what I'm trying to tell is you have to stake your plants up because they become so heavy that they start to fall. Let me show a little bit. Yeah, like this one. So you can see this one is coming from this plant. Uh, it has two branches, so one is going that way against this stick. I just put the stick in. And the second one is coming off from here, and it almost fell on the floor. So you don't want any dirt to be on it. So I have tied it against this one. And then once it gets growing taller than this one, I find another way. So tomatoes need to be trained. Same is the case with cucumbers. And uh, that's the melon. So you can see a baby melon somewhere. Wait a second. I took a picture in the morning. Again, you look for look for the flowers with a baby. Ah, here, there we go. You see, that's going to turn into a melon. In the morning, it's going to open up and pollination from these flowers, male flowers, male flowers are nothing. So this, this is, I'm not trellising it, I'm just getting it against the shelf in front of my balcony. So I will not put it on the ground because the ground is cemented. So this is going to hurt the plant. So it's on a piece of wood. Wood is a good insulator of heat. And I put some um, compost material on the sides and put branches on top, rather all those uh, cut branches. So this is going to go against this one. And same is the case with the pumpkins. So pumpkins have started to flower now, and pumpkins are going to go against this because they take a lot of place in the garden. They go up to 20 to 30 feet in their side shoots and everything, so I just want to keep it on that shelf that's it done so they're gonna enter the garden and mess up with all the vegetables so no trellising required for them they can grow on the ground as well for pumpkins and uh, melons and watermelon uh, watermelon is here so this is just going in circles within this pot so I'm not gonna get it higher than this one it's gonna stay in this pot in a circle but as you can see this one 
I had a huge uh, PVC pipe covered with, uh, uh, with the coconut uh, hair. Now this is, uh, I bought it. So cucumbers, they drop down after a certain height. So they also need to be trained. So you have to tie them at different places. So I tied them here with the metallic stick, then here with the coconut string then up above here so see then it goes up here actually this plant is very tall it can go all the way along this thing over there but i'm just keeping it here it went around this two three four it made four rounds around this pole and now i'm training it to be on this one so right now it's here so if this gets a bit taller it's going to drop down i don't want that to happen so i'll show you later what i'm going to do with it so that was about the cucumbers. They need to be trained. They need to find a way to climb up. Otherwise, they're gonna just fall down. Now let's get to the beans. So beans, on the other hand, they don't need any of the training. They just do it by themselves. So you can see it's nice, proper whirling. So you can see the proper spacing between each whirl. See, it's, it's, it's they, they do it by themselves, by nature. So you can see this this is burnt. The reason being, it's not the PVC pipe. The PVC pipe doesn't get that hot. So it's maybe the heat. The last few days we had. Uh, this one is okay. So you see, they don't need any training. Just what I do. This one is a wild one. So I will just put it against this one, and it's gonna find its way all the way to the top. But potato uh, cucumbers they fall down after a certain height because it's too heavy for them like this one it was up to there but then it fell so now I'm training it against this pipe so I have bought these uh, strings we call it the glass fabric and uh, one roll is about 10 meters tall so i will set up one and then i'll show you the end result so my basically what my job or well, my aim is i will tie one piece of string here and take it all the way up here have it roll around and then get it down till here so that's going to be my one and then six inches apart second one six inches apart third one fourth one so four lines would come up join the top four lines would come down join the middle I'm not worried about that probably nothing is gonna grow there so that's just for the air airflow and then the second one is the roof of this my previous beach umbrella I'm just keeping it here you can see the closed lines there so this one is all going to be filled because you don't want your cucumbers or anything against this this is metallic so this gets hot very quickly it's going to burn down the plant stem so i don't want that to happen so again i would have a line here six into the part second line so it's going to be like a roof so you would see it in a while same is the case here so you can see it at this spot all the lines are gonna go from here all the way till the end here till the end again six inches apart and then I will have a grid so it's gonna be like a net and all the cucumbers are gonna be on top of that and inside they'll think about what to do so let me finish the job and I'll show you after what I've done with the trellising of cucumbers this is only for the cucumbers Now, how does it look like? You can see these white things are going all the way down. One, that's the second one, two, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth and seventh one. So these sevens are going down all the way to the other end. Now I'm gonna go horizontal. So after I finish, I'll show you. So now the trellis looks like this. So you can see it's a whole grid system 
see it's a grid system all the way till here extended towards this side so now all the cucumbers are going to be on top of this trellis which doesn't get hot or cold quickly so it's pretty tight and strong well i can't hang against it but <laughs> still it's enough for this one so i'll refix it later i'll refix all the cucumber trellises are coming up and then i'll show you later so that's the grade type trellis on top of the beach umbrella by the way yeah the grapes also don't need any training they just need a way to go up so see i just put it against this one and there's going whirling up around by itself oh this is uh, my new grapevine it's not gonna fruit this year but next year it's gonna fruit we'll talk about that in the in maybe next of the videos how to care for grapes and how to get them to fruit but this year they're not gonna fruit because i just bought the sticks by the way that was the raspberry stick it didn't grow but i'm still keeping it in oh wait a second there is something coming up here oh so maybe it was late in growth so it's coming up congratulations to me see all the grapevines they have their own tentacles which get around any support they find and then they start going up so i don't really wrap them around anything they are just self-growing things that's another grapevine so you could see this grapevine is going up by itself i just tied it to a to a string here so that's pretty much self-helping the fourth grapevine i have is here so again it's just tied to this one i'm gonna secure these lines in a better way because these are too thin and they won't hold last so long so i will just chain them now let's get to the other one and again the purpose is the same to hold the vines up so let me finish it and show you later well there we go canopy number two is set well that looks like a spider web now i didn't mean to make it like a spider web but it just became one so yep canopy two is ready i think i could have one more line here let's see and now let's go to canopy three so mercedes benz <laughs> and this trellis is ready okay and the crossovers too so now let's put the cucumbers on them and see how it looks like <laughs> 